Hello, in this C programming video, <coughs> I am going to cover inline functions. So I've got a simple function right here called add, it takes two numbers, returns them, and we are printing them out. So if I was to run this, because we're passing in five and six, we'll get a value of 11. Pretty simple stuff. So what you can do if you, and you should really only do this if your function is very small, doesn't really have any dependencies outside, or not many, and you, what you can do is put the keyword in line. If you do it here in C, sometimes this gives you an error. So what we'll do is put it in an external file. And we'll create one here, main.h. And we'll put the keyword in line. In line. And in here, we'll do put the same, just the first line here, with semicolon, and we'll just do an extern in line. And if I was to run this now, uh, I need to include main.h that I created before. You can call it whatever you want. And if I give that a run now, boom, there we go. It runs the same. So what is happening here with an inline function? So when you have a regular function and we call this add method, it actually, the execution jumps from this line of code all the way to, you know, this function, does it, and then it comes back. That has some overhead. If you're running the function multiple times, maybe hundreds of thousands, thousands of time, thousands of times in some sort of recursion or in a loop or just in general, maybe it's just a function that is doing something really simple, <clears throat> but instead of writing that code in line effectively where you where you want to you know use it, you have it abstracted into a function which is very good. But it has, that has a bit of slight overhead. If you put the inline keyword. This isn't a guarantee, it's a sort of a hint to the compiler to say, we're putting this as inline, should only do with simple functions generally, because with a lot of bigger functions, more complex functions, you can cause more issues, you could, you know, reduce the sort of, you know, increase the overhead. So what it does, it says, the actual code for this, put it in line, literally put it here. So you'll just put it there, and that way, when you, every time you're compiling, it's already there. If you was to change it, it will increase the compiling time for that one instance just because everywhere that it is, you'll have to re-put the code uh, in the compiled version. So that's inlining. I mean, be cautious where you use it, but it's just a hint to the compiler to put the code in line. Pretty simple stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to pop uh, me a message, you know, in... Uh, in the comments and if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye